Chapter 3, Numerical Method 3.1 Solutions of Nonlinear Equations Learning Objectives Locate approximately a root of an equation by graphical considerations or searching for a sign change. For the numerical method, we have three subtopics 3.1 Solutions of Nonlinear Equations, 3.2 Newton Ripson Method, and 3.3 trapezoidal rule. Numerical method can be used to find A, the approximate solution for nonlinear equation by using newton repson method. For example, to find the solution of 2 sin x minus x is equal to 0. B, the approximate values for definite integrals by using the trapezoidal rule. For example, to find the integration of e to the power of x squared. For example, when we solve x squared minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0, we got the answer x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 5, which is this is the roots of the equation. But when we solve x cubed minus e to the power of x is equal to 0, there is no exact root. So we can use the numerical method to find the approximate roots or the solutions. To use the numerical method, we need to find the first approximation where a root slides. So how we are going to find an initial approximate value? So we have two methods, by graphical methods or algebraic methods. By using the graphical method, we can sketch the graph y is equal to fx and the real root is the point where the graph intercept at the x axis. Or, we can rewrite fx is equal to 0 to a new form fx is equal to gx. And, sketch the graph of y is equal to fx and y is equal to gx. And, the real root is the point of intersection between the two graphs. By algebraic method, we need to find two values of a and b such that FA and FB have different signs. So at least one root must lie between A and B if FX is continuous. For the example 1, locate the approximate value of the equation ln x plus x minus 2 is equal to 0 by using the graphical method. If we cannot sketch the graph directly, for the ln x plus x minus 2 is equal to 0, so we change as a ln x is equal to negative x plus 2. So we have y1 is equal to ln x and y2 is equal to negative x plus 2. So we sketch the graph for y1 and then we sketch the graph y2. So we have intersection point for the two graphs between 1 and 2. So the approximate value for the intersection points is x is equal to 1.5. For the example 2, by drawing suitable graph, find the initial approximate value for 7 cos x minus x is equal to 0 for x greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 2 pi. First, write 7 cos x minus x is equal to 0 as 7 cos x is equal to x. So we have the first graph, y1 is equal to 7 cos x and the second graph, y2 is equal to x. Sketch the first graph, y1 is equal to 7 cos x and then sketch the second graph y2 is equal to x. So we have two intersection points. So the approximate values are x is equal to pi over 4 and x is equal to 7 pi over 4. Example 3. By drawing suitable graph, Find the initial approximate value for x squared minus 2e to the power of negative x is equal to 1. 
So first we change x square minus 2e to the power of negative x is equal to 1 as a x square minus 1 is equal to 2e to the power of negative x. So we have y1 is equal to x square minus 1 and y2 is equal to 2e to the power of negative x. So first we sketch the graph of y1 is equal to x square minus 1 and then we sketch the graph of y2 is equal to 2e to the power of negative x so we have intersection point between value x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 so the approximate value is x is equal to 1.5 As a conclusion, for the graphical method, we need to rewrite fx is equal to 0 to a new form as a fx is equal to gx and then sketch the graph of y is equal to fx and y is equal to gx. The real root is the point of intersection between the two graphs. For the exercise, show by sketching the graph that the equation of e to the power of 2x plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0 has only one real root. Find the unit interval where the root lies.